So I've got a Wi-Fi antenna here for us to take a look at today. It's for 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi, and although it may look at first glance like a like a uh, dipole antenna, it's actually a uh, Connellia antenna, slightly different to a dipole. Basically, the Connellia doesn't have a uh, ground plane, and uh, I was around at a friend's house uh, recently. Well, not house; he has a, a small one-bedroom apartment, and he had two of these connected to his router and I did mention that uh, with all this coax here it's probably not going to be too good but uh, because his router is in his front room and uh, you know it's a one bedroom apartment he can still get a decent signal into his uh, bedroom and anywhere in his apartment basically but um, I thought I'd get one of these in for us to take a look at because it could be quite interesting and uh, I've got a you know I'm kind of thinking that uh, you know the antenna is a very capable antenna I have built uh, plenty of these before in the past and it's probably uh, one of the first antennas I had got building uh, there's plenty of instructions for these on the homebrew uh, Wi-Fi forums but um, with all this coax I'm kind of thinking that um, there's going to be a lot of loss from this coax this is probably nowhere near rated for uh, microwave frequencies and there's uh, just slightly over three meters of this stuff although it looks a little bit coiled up here on the bench I've measured it and it's just over three meters so I'm expecting a lot of loss from this coax but the design of the antenna itself should be pretty capable now to test this antenna I thought I'd have a go at uh, quickly making one myself so basically I've just got some uh, copper wire here and uh, I've connected it to a uh, your semi-rigid SMA connector in here just gone all the way through down there and there's no ground plane on this apart from the outside of the SMA of course uh, if I wanted to make this more permanent I could put some epoxy putty down in there to make it a little bit more secure and uh, probably find some kind of tubing to uh, protect the element but for this test this should work out fine now looking at the two you're probably thinking well mine is a lot longer than this one and it is but mine is made in the more tra traditional way where there's just uh, two coils one here one here so basically we've got a measurement here of 61 millimeters then a single coil then 91.5 millimeters and a single coil and then 83 millimeters at the top there but as you can see with this one they have more coils so it makes the uh, antenna more capacitive so we've got the uh, the measurement here and then this coil and because there's more turns you're able to make this one a little bit shorter and again with the second one a little bit shorter and then shorter on the top one because this antenna is more capacitive than this one because it has more coils you're able to uh, make it a little bit shorter and still keep it on the same uh, you know wavelength the same center frequency so that's basically all the difference between them is and I've mentioned how coils can make uh, an antenna capacity before with the uh, dipole antenna the longer range dipole antennas uh, you can use a coil to uh, you know make them uh, a lot shorter where you've got uh, one full wavelength at the top uh, kind of thing but because you've got a coil you're able to reduce that down to uh, you know a little over half so that's what's going on here so let's do a quick test then we'll hook uh, this one up the eBay one up to the alpha card first see how well it does here in the lab and then uh, we'll compare it to this one that I've made here I am expecting this one that I've made to perform better than this one because I'm expecting the coax on the eBay one to be extremely lossy so here we are with this setup, just on the bench then, nothing too uh, fancy, just to give us an idea of uh, the kind of signals that this can pick up. So let's give it a scan. And it's not doing too well at the moment. The uh, first two uh, uh, access points here, this one is uh, actually in the garage here in the lab itself. This one is, uh, you know, outside at the uh, back of my house basically these are two connected together so I've got internet access here in the lab and uh, that's about it it's uh, not picking anything else up at all so just let me hold it up a little bit move it around see if we can get it to do a little bit better yeah we've got another one there and another one well yeah pretty poor so uh, let's uh, connect 
the one that I've just made up and uh, see what kind of performance we can get from a uh, Colonnier antenna. So here we are with mine then, so let's give this a uh, quick scan just to see how well one of these antennas should perform. So you can see there a lot more access points, uh, some nice green colours there. Uh, forget about the first two as I said, they're pretty close and one is actually here in the lab with me but uh, it's picking up uh, far more access points and the access points uh, that it is picking up are a lot stronger like the uh, Daytrek one here that's at 64% when uh, it could hardly pick uh, that access up uh, access point up in the previous scan so a lot better and uh, these do perform at around uh, 5 dB so what I'm going to do then I'm going to do two things I'm going to cut the coax off here and I'm going to leave enough coax so I can uh, crimp on a, uh, another SMA connector basically doing away with all this coax here and uh, the coax that's left over I'm going to uh, crimp a SMA connector onto that I'm going to take it over to the bench and uh, we're going to test this so we know uh, you know we can get an idea of how much loss uh, is uh, coming from this coax and then we can also test the antenna again with uh, the coax removed give it another scan and see how uh, that improves things on the scan so I'm going to chop the coax off here and uh, crimp on some SMA connectors so now that uh, we can take a closer look at the coax as well you can see uh, there's no weave to the uh, outer braid here it's more like uh, electrical wire it's got this uh, horrible uh, plasticky uh, dielectric here we have seen this uh, previously in uh, some other videos where we've uh, bought antennas with this horrible stuff here it is more like speaker wire than coax and uh, you know it's not microwave rated at all so it should be interesting to see how much loss that we get from this so this is the setup that I've put together then I've got a little uh, signal generator a uh, signal source here at uh, 2.4 gigahertz and because that's uh, such uh, such a low signal I've got a uh, amplifier here that uh, boosts up the uh, power slightly to uh, just over 200 milliwatts it's uh, 2.662 milliwatts of power going into a 3 dB attenuator because that amount of power is too great for my uh, power sensor there so this 3 dB attenuator takes that power down so we can take a reading on the sensor and then add the 3 dB attenuation back in so as you can see on the uh, power meter we're getting 0.6.37 milliwatts there 3 8 milliwatts I mean uh, you're just splitting hairs a little bit there but um, the uh, 3 dB attenuator attenuates the signal coming out of here and uh, reduces it by just under uh, 200 milliwatts of power so we're getting 200 milliwatts plus the readout that uh, is on the power meter there so what I'm going to do now is connect the uh, coax up directly to the uh, little amplifier here I'm going to do away with the attenuator and then can connect the other end of the coax directly to the power meter and then we can see the signal and then you know we'll see how lossy the coax is so let's give this a uh, test then now that I've uh, attached the coax to the power sensor directly to the amplifier I uh, do admit that um, prior to switching on the camera um, I didn't want to risk breaking my sensor so I did put a uh, 2 dB attenuator on there then uh, put it down to a 1 dB attenuator and now we've got no attenu attenuator on there whatsoever I just wanted to make sure that I didn't uh, break my uh, power sensor but let's uh, power it up now and uh, you can see there that we're only getting 3.60 milliwatt go uh, coming into the power sensor that's directly using the coax no attenuation whatsoever so we're losing well over 3 dB of uh, power by uh, using this coax it's just so lossy it's uh, you know I've said pre in previous videos it's so rubbish uh, it's it's a syntacolic coax it's more like a speaker wire but you can see there well over 3 dB of uh, power loss just by using this coax I mean three meters of it is uh, quite a length but uh, you know you're just using one of these you're just wasting all that power so as you saw in the test with the coax then pretty poor stuff I mean you're losing 
virtually all your signal coming through this uh, coax it's just so lossy so uh, let's have a go with the uh, modified version then where I've cut down the coax and I've just got this short piece here and connect that up to the alpha card and see how well this uh, performs without all this lossy uh, rubbish coax because the uh, design of uh, an antenna like this a collinear antenna is a uh, pretty rock solid design they do perform well so let's hook this up and give this a scan and then we can compare it uh, to the first test and see how much we've improved the uh, antenna itself so second test now that we've modified it then just on the bench just as uh, I did before just uh, the same alpha card so let's give it a scan and see if we've improved things a little bit so already there it's picking up way more access points a lot better signals around uh, all the range of that uh, you know it really is as I said this uh, particular design of an antenna is a really good design and that's how it should perform when you've uh, cut out all that lossy coax much better performance as you'd expect from a uh, antenna like this now I don't really have to because I think we can re remember that we only picked up uh, three or four access points but I'll just overlay the first test there just so you can see the uh, difference in performance so this video just goes to show then that even with a uh, nicely constructed antenna you know that's uh, been around for a long time and they're a rock solid design using this uh, cheap nasty coax has just ruined everything and uh, you know turned it into a uh, really big fail and hopefully you saw how lossy this stuff is and why sometimes I get comments can I use uh, you know TV coax or electrical cable I always say no because uh, you know you're just crippling your design and uh, also I don't want you to think just because uh, your antenna at home might have uh, black coax I mean this coax is uh, a lot better than this stuff still quite lossy I wouldn't uh, buy this by the meter and start using it in the construction of my antennas but you can see it's got uh, a woven outer braid here the uh, inner core is also much better it's uh, you know not loosely together um, like it is in this one it's uh, just a lot better still lossy but nowhere near as lossy as uh, this speaker wire here but uh, you know it just goes to show that um, you know for £1.60 though what do you expect but uh, having bad coax can really cripple a uh, good antenna so hopefully you found this video interesting and uh, any comments or questions drop them below I'll do my best to answer them and uh, you know let me know if you've got something like this and you were disappointed with the uh, outcome of it but uh, another thing as well I mean my friend is going to be keeping these because uh, they do work well in his small confined area and you know if you don't want to share your signal with your neighbors you don't want it leaking out everywhere so uh, you know somebody else could possibly jump on I mean uh, if you've got a good password protection on there it shouldn't happen but uh, for him in his uh, small one bedroom apartment he's quite happy with these you know they they work well and he's got a uh, Wi-Fi hotspot in that small confined space but if you're wanting to get a signal out into your garden or something like that then uh, you're not going to achieve it using uh, this coax here and uh, you know that coax attached to uh, a pretty decent antenna to be honest with you you just not it's just not going to happen so if you did enjoy the video please give it a uh, thumbs up and uh, hopefully you'll join me on the next one